I, I do have another demo to show you as well. Hopefully you are still there. And this one does exactly the same thing. Uh, it's for, um, it, it's demo uh, number two. On the deployment side, instead of um, AWS code pipeline to deploy directly into ECS, we are using uh, blue green deployment via the AWS code deploy service. So you, uh, the, the difference here is that we don't want to do the normal um, uh, 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 rolling update on ECS. We want to do the blue green deployment on ECS. And the default mechanism of AWS code pipeline doesn't do that. That is why we now need to use a blue green deployment. And by the way, I do have exactly the same setup as well under services here. I do have a second service, which is um, a service uh, two. And this one also has a load balancer. Let me see if I can get that one across. Let me see if I can just close these other items I don't need there. Okay. And uh, did I just, okay. So this is demo number two. And then we're just gonna paste it there. And you can see, this is now a different one than the previous demo I did. This one uses blue green deployment uh, to ECS via the AWS code deploy service. So how does all of that magic actually work? So let's, let's, let's actually take a look. So I have also cloned this repo as well. And um, this one, as you can see, there's also on top of just the build spec file, we also have the app spec file, which is being used by the AWS code deploy service. And it also has just a single exc uh, exclamation, as you can see here. So let's update it and then uh, look at it as it is busy proceeding. I'm gonna add more exclamations here. Uh, I think they are a little bit more now. I'm then gonna save it. And then under the code repository, here, I'm gonna make sure I stage all of those changes and then write a message here. I added more exclamations and then command enter to commit that and then push that across into my repo number two. And this immediately uh, initiates the pipeline, which is on demo two here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the source is now in progress. It just detected the changes. Uh, we should expect to see uh, that I added more exclamations and the build is also something exactly the same that we have seen before. The difference is that now we are going to be, uh, yeah, you can see here, I added more of those. The build is the same. The difference is that now we are going to be deploying via AWS code deploy service. The, the service itself must also be configured so that it does allow code deploy to talk to it. I do have, um, the AWS code deploy deployment group, which is uh, the ECS service itself. I do have um, the deployment ID. I think this was the previous one here. And of course I want to do blue green deployment. So the service inside ECS must be configured for blue green deployment. And then after that, you can then hook up code deploy to say you want to go and deploy into that particular um, service now. So what we expect to see is as soon as the deployment um, starts, we should, uh, of course, yeah, there's a deployment that's coming through. As you can see here under deploy deployment progress, we now have the blue and the green environment. Both of those are different tasks that are, are now uh, within my environment. So one is currently being launched. Uh, you can see here running is zero. So both of these are gonna be configured to run at the same time. And then the older one will be removed. Of course, I have set it to be removed almost instantly so that we minimize time waiting. And all of this magic, it's actually being powered by the code deploy service. So if you go down to code deploy this side and look at the deployments, you should see just the current deployment happening right now, which was triggered by AWS code pipeline service um, to deploy into this particular environment of ours. So you expect to see one in progress here. And if you look deep within that particular uh, one, you can see that it's kind of deploy um, sending through one task and all the traffic is still going to the old one for now. We expect, of course, to switch over. And now after this task has been uh, deployed as a replacement one, it will then 
move the traffic immediately onto the other side. You can see it's progressing quite nicely uh, with all of that. Um, now that has been done and switch over. So I, I don't do any checks anyway because that's what's gonna waste time. Because normally you can specify how long you want the rerouting of traffic to take and so on and so forth. So with that done, we should expect to see uh, a new one with more exclamations. So exactly the same as demo we did before, but this time around we are using AWS Code Deploy because we wanted to have this blue green deployment uh, mechanisms into our Amazon ECS uh, cluster. Okay, so that's the demo I had for you and I hope you enjoyed it and then something from it.